Yo, what's going on gamers? My name is Roll Easy, and I'm back today with the brand new solo money glitch. It actually came out about a day ago, but there's been so many other glitches going on right now that I just didn't get a chance to post this one. But after the gift cards to friends glitch uh, has been going on, I wanted to show you guys that there is an easy solo money glitch that you guys can be hitting. It's easy, although it is very tedious. There's little steps that are annoying, but it's a really easy glitch to hit. So thanks to Lost Glitches and Freight Train What The Fudge, we have this solo money glitch for you. Now, the requirements are you want to have an MOC with the personal vehicle storage, the car you want to duplicate outside, which is uh, in this video, the Retro, the LG Retro. I recommend the Retro. It sells for the most. Any Benny's vehicle will work, though. And uh, make sure you, that you also have a street car that you're going to need to use to get glitched out with. Now, the most important step is you need to park your MOC uh, next to your bunker, and it needs to be getting the entrance animation, all right? That's really important. You need to get the animation. If you don't get the animation, the glitch will not work for you, all right? And uh, this is how we're going to get glitched out. This is a method. Uh, in this video, we're using the method where you're disconnecting your cable from your controller. Now, I found this to be the easiest because it's precise timing, you know, and it will work. Trust me, it'll it'll work almost every single time for you. Now, as you can see right here, I know this spot right here will get me the animation. But if you guys don't want to use the disconnect, you know, method where you disconnect your controller, you know, as you're uh, pressing the button, then you can also disconnect the batteries, uh, hit the sync button and wait about a second uh, or like a half a second and then hit the button. Uh, PS4 users, you can hit the, uh, the right D-pad and then... Uh, use a paper clip to reset your button and uh, PC users you can hit W and then directly hit alt plus F4 all right and then you uh, you get to cancel the alert all right so that's those are the methods that you can use you can also use a join friend method and if that's confusing you're gonna see why I'm telling you this right now so what you see right here I got my MOC parked on a flat surface to get the animation I got my retro outside you want to have your retro outside already or your Benny's car that you're duplicating you want to have it outside waiting uh, to go because once you get glitched out you won't be able to call up your vehicle okay so you want to have your vehicle out that you're gonna do before you actually try to hit the glitch so my oh and make sure your MOC is empty it has to be 100% empty nothing in there nothing previously in there if there was something in there blow it up get rid of it all right so here we go this is what I'm gonna do right here I'm gonna be hitting right d-pad and then disconnecting my uh, controller at the same time okay so I'm gonna slow it down and this is what you want to see you're gonna see right d-pad the message on the top left is gonna disappear and the lights are gonna flash check this out so disappear lights flash boom I get the alert you hit it right there, okay? In the background, you should actually hear your guy getting out of the car. So you want to spawn outside once you connect your controller back. And like I said, you can disconnect your controller. You can uh, hit the sync button. You can, uh, for PlayStation users, use the paper clip to reset your controller. And then, yeah, PC users, you got, you know, hidden W and then Alt F4, all right? So there's a bunch of different methods. You can also disconnect your batteries. But yeah, so you want to end up outside here. Your personal vehicle storage icon or your personal vehicle is going to disappear right there. Uh, as you can see, the, the retro is there, but it doesn't say it on the map. So now, as you saw, my MOC, I'm returning it to storage. So it's going to disappear and it's going to go back to storage. Now, you don't need custom plates for this glitch. It will transfer the plate of the streetcar every single time. Uh, I do recommend if you're going to be selling these cars that you do change the plate as well. That'll help you sell the car. It'll help you, you know, deter from getting the, uh, you know, the can't sell message for, or can't sell, you know, cars over $50,000 message. So although you don't need custom plates to duplicate, I do recommend always putting on a different plate later before you sell it so that you can actually sell it and not run into any complications. So as you can see right here, I'm driving really weird. What it is, <laughs> you're so glitched out that you can't actually turn while hitting the gas. So you have to turn before you hit the gas. So just tap on the gas and then lightly turn the car. And then you want to drive back to your bunker, okay? You, look at that. We're going to get that message on the top left. You cannot drive this into your uh, bunker. Remember, we returned the MOC to storage, so it's back in the bunker. So check this out. Instead of the retro actually spawning inside the parking spot in the bunker, you're actually going to spawn directly into the MOC. And that's what you want to see. So there you go. Look at that. I'm right inside the MOC. I'm going to hop right back in. And I'm actually going to put this in slow-mo so you guys can really see. It's super slow-mo right here. Look at that Icarus plate. Right before the screen goes black, I'm going to drive out. And you're going to see the plate actually changes. So check this out. Right there. You can slightly see it, but it took on the plate 
of the streetcar. And I'm going to show you right here. Once we're back in the bunker in the parking spot, there's that plate. 46, yep. That's our brand new plate on our brand new duplicate. The original car gets put back wherever it came from. This is the duplicate right here. So you want to drive back into your MOC, and that's going to save the car. So you see, it's not very difficult. That's literally all you got to do. Getting glitched out is not hard. I do believe that disconnecting the controller is the easiest. I tried the other methods, and the timing's different on every single time with those. So unless you really get used to it, I mean, I think disconnecting the controller is the easiest method, honestly. So now what you want to do is you do have a saved car, uh, your saved car right here inside of your uh, of your bunker. So I was debating on actually going to sell the car right now, which is why you're going to actually see me drive out of the bunker. And then I'll be heading over to Los Santos Customs. Customs. But then halfway over there, I kind of decide, you know what, for the tutorial purpose, I kind of want to show, you know, all you guys what you should do if you want to keep rinsing and repeating this. Because we won't just be able to sell every car back to back. You'll hit your daily sell limit, of course. So what's, what you're going to see right here is I'm going to cut the scene and then I'm going to actually go right back to, uh, to my bunker or to my MOC with this car. So I'm parking it back inside the MOC. And remember now at this point, so you have your retro or your Benny's car in your MOC and you want to go park your, your uh, MOC over at the place where you got good style before where the flat surface is. Okay, so here we go. This is my retro in here. This is how we, we're going to set up to rinse and repeat again. This is the quickest method and this this is the little tedious things that I was talking about the setups you know for all this so I'm back at that you know area with the flat surface I'm gonna call up a Faggio you can call up an RH8 too if you want but I recommend calling Faggios because there's no wait time for the mechanic and you're gonna need to call your mechanic to bring your retro back uh, every single time for the dupe so I recommend having Faggios ready as well so what we're gonna do now is that Faggio came from a garage not my MC clubhouse you do not want it coming from a, your MC clubhouse so I'm going to go ahead and hit right D-pad and it's going to ask me to transfer vehicles. So what this is doing is the retro is going back to a garage wherever this Faggio came from. Whatever garage the Faggio came from, the retro is going there. So that's that's why we're doing this. You're transferring your duplicate over to a garage so you can save it back over there now. Now this uh, Faggio we need to get rid of because remember I said the MOC needs to be 100% empty. So what we're going to do right here is actually go ahead and grab another streetcar. And the reason we're grabbing a streetcar is because you can't just pull out your Faggio and blow it up. If you blow it up, it has a tracker and insurance on it, so it's not fully gone. You want their, you want the MOC to be 100% empty. That's why we can't just you know take the Faggio out and blow it up. It doesn't work that way. The Faggio has insurance on it. We bought it on Legend or we bought it on a website. So grab a streetcar and go ahead and press right D-pad, and you see it says that your vehicle in there will be lost. That's what you want to see. The vehicle in there is going to be completely gone, you know, 100%. Now when you drive a streetcar in there, all that's happening is you're putting a tracker on it, but no insurance. That's what we want. So now drive the uh, the streetcar back out and go ahead and just blow it up. And that's how you get your MOC 100% empty. Okay, you gotta drive a streetcar in there to destroy whatever you have and then destroy the streetcar right after that, okay? And now the MOC will be 100% empty. That is how you actually have to set up. So like I said, there's it's an easy glitch but getting set up every time is the tedious part that's that's kind of the annoying part but at least if you're by your bunker and buy a road like this you will have a bunch of street cars to use and readily available which is the plus side so and and the other thing is when you're blowing up all these vehicles you're gonna have the cops coming after you a lot so if you have a good amount of money in your duping cars go ahead and turn on you know cops turn a blind eye uh, just so that you know the authorities don't go after you every single time but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much the setup. So at this point right here, I'm going to go ahead and I got my streetcar ready. And now I'm going to call my mechanic and I'm going to get my retro out. Because remember, you need your car that you want to duplicate outside before you actually get glitched out. So I'm just going to go ahead and find the garage where I got a retro in, which is pretty much every single one of my garages. And I'm just going to proceed to call it up and it's going to spawn there. And this time you're actually going to see the personal vehicle icon on the map. See, after we get glitched out, you don't see that. So it's kind of crazy. But yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull it up close. And remember, you can't call this up after you get glitched out. That's why we're pulling it out beforehand. Okay, for some reason, when you're all glitched out, calling a mechanic and stuff does not work. I'm not sure why, but yeah. So now we got this ready to go. And I'm getting another streetcar. And we're going to go ahead and get glitched out. Now, I went to go try another method here, and I'm going to show you guys, you know, what happens if you fail. This is where it can also get really tedious and annoying. 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to try to do the join friend method. I'm going to my dashboard right now and I'm hitting on join a friend. And the, this method is you want to hit right D-pad as you're uh, right before the alert comes up. But like I said, you see I saw the session details so I pressed right D-pad but the alert came in too late. You know? And so it got me all glitched out but it was way too late. The alert still hasn't come in. Now the alert came in so I backed out of it. That's the problem with that method. You don't know when the alert's going to come in. So. I mean, if you if you have no choice, you got to try to play with that, but I don't recommend that one. So now I drove my streetcar in there, and now it's a personal vehicle, so I have to blow this one up. I can't just pull it back out and try the glitch again. And the bitch of it is, is that your retro disappears now. So you actually have to blow that up, get another streetcar ready, and then call your retro up again. But I already used my mechanic, so I got to wait another five minutes. This is where it's tedious, okay? So I just wanted to show you guys that what happens when you fail, that you, there is a little bit of downside to it. But it is an easy glitch. It's just the setup, and if you fail, it's a really annoying, all right? That's going to be it for me, though. My name is Roll Easy. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys learned something. Every time I come out with a video, I try to explain it as well as possible, and I try to show you guys the possibilities, the fails, and what you guys can expect. No sugarcoating. I'm going to tell you exactly how it is, all right? So make sure you like the video by hitting that blue thumbs up. Subscribe to me if you're new by hitting that big red button, and turn on post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, guys.